Long at you, Dublin's own hip hop festival and the single greatest thing to happen in Ireland since the Mars Delight Bar. Never have so many underage teens shown up to drink in a public park since coronavirus. A lockdown united. And never have so many people publicly streamed out the N word than at the Heineken stage. What a fucking. If you haven't lost all your friends within the first 10 minutes, then you, my friends, are at the wrong festival. Longitude is no phone covered, watered down orchard thieves, and finally meeting your future wife in a port loop even though you might forget her name within the first five seconds. This is Longitude, baby. <laughs> for Longitude has been going on for God knows how long, with stories of the legendary festival being passed down through the generations. I myself, <laughs> you might call me the Longitude veteran, okay? Okay, that's me, the Longitude veteran. Purple Heart, multiple medal of honor award winning longitude veteran it's vietnam now baby it's vietnam <laughs> having been there a major two times okay son two times okay don't 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 even come at me twice i've been through the trenches whether it's been trampled through the mosh pits of hell or having an outer body experience with the aliens from gta come down and extract your soul everybody has stories from longitude but which was the best year where were the best memories made how would every single longitude rank? I understand the tier list, they're a bit out of date. But look, we, we're going with it, okay? We're going with it. 2015! Nobody's there, we don't speak of that one. 2016! Kendrick Lamar, Tyler the Creator, Major Lair, Jesus fucking Christ. Stormzy was even there, and he's a goddamn little act on the bottom. Diplo, the Coronas, the list goes on. Holy shit, 2016, you take the cake. You was going up there in the top spots. You've got it. You've got it. There's nothing else like this on there. Get the fuck up there, 2016. Bravo, my son, bravo. 2017. Uh, I'll be honest, this year, it ain't so great. It's not terrible, okay? We got the weekend, Skeptic, Gucci Mane, Young Toad, Stormzy is back, hell even, do a bleep be on there, but I feel 2017 didn't build on what the previous had done. I remember there being outrage at the fact that Stormzy will be headlining the Friday acts, who at the time was not as well established as he is today. Overall, 2017, you were good, okay? You're a good guy, but you just aren't at the top, my friend. I'm sorry, but you is... You was going in the decent category. 2018! My god, we back, baby! Holy shit, long at you, 2018, let's go. J. Cole, Travis Scott, Post at Lone. Oh my god, this is crazy. Migos, Diplo, Tyler the Creator. Again? And even Solange was there, who was... Uh... Beyonce's sister. Yeah, no, no, no one really cared about that one. But 2018, my god, was a return to grace for Ireland's biggest hip-hop music festival. Even the smaller acts such as Jay Huss, Khaled, Giggs, Little Pump and Cardi B were all bangers in their own right. This was the year that Longitude fully embraced its hip-hop bodies and doubled down on what worked at the festival and it worked all the better for it. Even on a more personal note, coming from the whole YouTube angle, this is the first year that it seemed the Irish YouTube community, which at the time I wasn't a part of, embraced the festival to its truest potential. And people for the first time making how-to guides, such as Alex Plamadelia, who has subsequently died since the recording of that video. 2018. You're a good guy. Get the fuck, get up there. God tier category. Let's go up there, son. 2019. Well, I should just get at this out of the way. I was not here for this one. But that didn't stop me from doing an entire podcast on it. <laughs> Regardless, I have to say, I regret not going to this one. Look at the yaks. Look at them. Look at them. Based purely on the yaks. ASAP Rocky, Chance the Rapper, Little Baby, Little Lucy, and so much more. The lineup was truly spectacular. It's a classic. However, on a small note, why is Cardi B the main act over Juice World? I get her numbers are bigger, but by God, come on. Come on. I feel like this is a huge missed opportunity considering Juice World's untimely passing just a few months later. I suppose that's just hindsight for you. But also, on a side note, if you chose to see Cardi B over Juice World, who were both playing at the same time, you... Oh, my respect for you has plummeted. And if they haven't said it to you, your friends have too. But Longitude 2019, oh my god. Some may argue this is the best year for the festival. I'm biased towards having both Juice and Future up on stage. But at the end of the day, I still think 2018's lineup was a little better. If only marginal, but there's not much in it. 2019, you're going up there. That's it, everybody. Longitude from best to worst. Hang on. Wait a minute. There's still one more year. Well, now that's out of the way. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash uh, the subscribe button. That would mean the most to me. We're trying to hit 2K by the end of the summer. So please, my friend, please 
hit the button if you wish if you, if you don't that's, that's fine <laughs> that's it for this video my friends thank you very much for watching i will see you next time take it easy bye bye